GameStop Mania is back on the stock market. The ticker is GME. I will show you the best time frame to look for potential trades if you want to play with this volatile asset in the stock market. The best time frame right now is the one hour chart. I will cover the one, the four, the daily and the weekly and you will see which ones are easier to read than the other. So on the one hour we saw that it was a breakout on the 2nd of May and pretty much we followed the MA50 until we had this huge breakout to the upside with increasing volume here around the 13th of May and we got the huge pump up to $80 and now we're back at $40. $40 is what? 50% retracement. So to me, around $40 is a good entry point to get into or near $40, not financial advice. It also coincides with the ME50, which is around 35. So between 35 and 40 will be a nice entry to get into uh, GameStop. The trading just started today, so expect a little bit of volatility, but my guess is the $35 level will hold and trade a little bit sideways. We have diminishing volume for the last correction here. And like I indicated, because it's a 50% drop in, in price, pretty much the profit taking from traders is done. We could do a couple of cycles here between 38, 37, up to $56 quite quickly throughout the day. That's only for people who want to trade this on the one hour time frame. You need to be in front of your computer because this thing can move extremely quickly. At the same time, for whatever reason, today Bitcoin is moving also. So there's a lot of action on the market. Many coins are up 10% and more. At this stage, GME is down 20% at 38 something dollars because of the profit taking. That's pretty normal following a pump from $16 or so to $80. So this is the four hour chart. We see the huge spiking volumes. At $20, we have an important support. Now we're trying to see if we can set up a new support around $40. And you see that the candles are quite huge in a number of dollars at the four hour chart. We still have the structure that I described about being half of the correction already. We're going to trade around $40, $35, $40 in order to settle and see the buyers come back. So you should wait for the next green candle in volume to see if that level will hold. We could trade sideways for a few four hour cycles and then trying to aim at $50 and $60 as a rebound from this important correction. And yeah, at the daily you see that there's quite a lot of volatility, very difficult to look at trades here. Only a few people who knew something was going on here uh, around the 1st or 2nd of May got in at a very good price and hopefully took out profits but it was extremely violent move and a violent uh, correction therefore extremely tricky to hit those targets unless you put them ahead of time and these orders need to be pre-programmed in order to actually get them so like I said, it's pointless to look at the weekly because there's going to be way more uh, variability, way more volatility. So in my opinion, the one hour chart is the one to look for, for GME, for those who want to follow this uh, craziness of volatility and trading in GameStop in 2024. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like and subscribe. See you all very soon.